Now, on Invertebrate Planet, it's the season premiere of genuine statements concerning the Stomatopoda. Only on Invertebrate Planet. The oceans are full of a diverse array of organisms, both big and small, colorful yet camouflaged, fascinating yet deadly. Sensing one's environment is of paramount importance down here, where a potential predator or prey can be anywhere. While well-developed eyes might seem like a paradox in an environment where visibility and light penetrance drop sharply below 200 feet, some of the most advanced eyes are the compound eyes of marine arthropods, such as crabs, lobsters, and shrimp. In fact, the most advanced eyes in the animal kingdom are the compound eyes of the order Stomatopoda, commonly known as mantis shrimp. These stocked compound eyes are made of thousands of functional units called omatidia. Each has its own photoreceptors and are connected to nerve cells that translate signals into an image. The mantis shrimp is unique in having triocular vision. Its eye is split into three regions by a band of six rows of omatidia, collectively called the midband. This allows it to have depth perception in each eye, which swivel on their own. The eyes have 16 photoreceptors, 12 of which are used in color analysis, including UV. In comparison, human eyes can only detect three colors and cannot see in the ultraviolet. The mantis shrimp can also see both linear and circular polarized light, which humans cannot. As each stalked eye can move independently of the other, mantis shrimp utilize special eye movements called saccadic movements to cover a wild field of view, similar to what humans use, and have depth perception. The dark areas are called the pseudo-pupil. They are called this because they look like pupils. They are, in fact, the facets of the omatidia looking directly at you, because these do not have pupils. The pseudo-pupil can appear in all three parts at once, and the acute zone is when all three seem to expand to fill the entire eye. This area has the highest resolution and is where the omatidias will focus. Mantis shrimp can come in a variety of colors. The peacock shrimp has both the most photoreceptors as well as the most colorful exoskeleton. This may indicate that there is a link between coloration and vision, and that evolution of one has favored the other. This is not the only possible example of a trait being favored by evolution of these advanced compound eyes. Male mantis shrimp have been known to fluoresce during mating rituals at an exact wavelength of yellow that the eyes have a photoreceptor for. This suggests that the fluorescence arose by chance and that females had a trait that made them favor males with this fluorescence. This phenomenon is called the sexy sun hypothesis. Mm. Eyes are not the only unique trait that mantis shrimp have. Mantis shrimp can fall into one of two major categories, spearers whose front appendages have spines for snagging or spearing prey, and smashes, whose front appendages have bulbous endings used in smashing their prey. They can reach out so fast with these raptorial appendages that the impact of the smasher claws create a cavitation bubble. These cavitation bubbles are also special in that they produce sonoluminescence, this is the production of light energy from sound. This can be seen better when reproduced with a sonoluminescence machine, shown here. Here you can see the bubble and the light that's coming off. This light, as it is produced by a machine, is much brighter than the light that comes off when a mantis shrimp hits a prey. The mantis shrimp is just one of the many wonders of the ocean. Between its creepy eye movements and bullet-fast claws, 
This is one invertebrate you don't want to mess with. Join us next time we cover the eating habits of the mantis shrimp and how tasty one can be. Mm.